truck trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. We're located about 30 minutes north of Denver off I-25. Today I am bringing you a trailer. This was a completely customized trailer that um, I had helped build for a customer of mine, but it's a 2022 Cimarron Lone Star Stock combo type trailer. Um, it's actually a pretty neat little setup. It's very versatile in the sense that for horses and cattle, pigs, sheep, I mean, you can go both ways with it. it with the Wow, with it being a stock combo. But we'll go ahead and get started up here, up top underneath. Um, we've got our spare tire, hydraulic jack, and then your battery box with the battery cutoff switch. And then over here is going to be the stud um, control for the hydraulic jack. So comes up and down really fast, really smooth, really nice and easy, easy to use. And then the nice thing too is that when this cord is plugged into your truck and your truck is running, it's going to trickle charge that battery. So if for some reason you leave that battery cutoff switch on, you leave the tack and light on, and you kill your battery, you can plug it into the truck, let it charge up, and you should be able to get that jack working again. But as a fail safe, we do have the capabilities of pumping it. So um, there's this little button right here. You got to either pull out and twist or push in. And then over on this side, here, let me come across here. Over on this side, you'll see this bar right here. And then this bar actually comes out and goes in here. And then you can pump the trailer manually up or down whichever way you need it to go. Okay, so coming over here, we've got the tack room, 42 inch wide door with your swing out saddle rack. And then you also have your swing out blanket pole, the brush box below. So that 42 inch wide door, having that swing out, you're gonna have extra space to get up and in the tack room without you know, having to shimmy by with the smaller door when you have the saddles hanging out. So that just pushes back in super easily. Got the step going up into the tack room so you're not trying to find the, the running board here. This trailer is sitting eight wide so you don't have much of a running board. So this step definitely helps out, makes it a lot easier and user friendly. But coming up in here in the tack room, got a six foot short wall. Up on the up, up here, you got space to put a mattress if you needed it. You also have space, extra storage, all that fun stuff. Um, over up here is actually going to be your plexiglass holder. So it's super nice to have that. You can take that plexiglass out and store it in the trailer in case you need it while you're going somewhere. Um, highly, highly recommend if you are to take your plexiglass out, take it out one row at a time tape it together and mark which row you took it out of. It just makes it a lot easier. It makes your life a lot easier when you go to put it back in. Um, but over here, you got a shelf with the bar down below, hang your clothes, hat rack. There is a lip on this too, so stuff isn't gonna be falling out while you're making turns and stuff. And then over in this corner, we got a 25 gallon water tank. And then on the partition wall, we've got our um, blanketed or blanketed carpeted uh, bridle hooks up above so that carpet's going to help those bridles when you're going down and they're swaying back and forth you're not going to get those rub marks on the aluminum or your bridles. Up above the door we've got an OptiBright LED light and then down here you have the full length boot box that goes all the way across and then this one opens up too. So this doubles as a shelf, it doubles as a um, or shelf, a step stool to get up into the gooseneck area, it doubles as storage, a seat when you're getting ready for a show, anything you need it for. So this trailer, we set it up so that the customer could haul two horses in a box stall. So it is set up, you've got your two different compartments. And then your ramp on the front, and your gate with the slider on the back. It's actually a really neat setup. It's going to work out really well hauling horses, hauling cattle, sheep, pigs. Um, those compartments are both going to be nine feet, nine feet in length, and then you're eight feet wide. Uh, this trailer is sitting a little taller at seven four tall. We went with the extra height just to accommodate and give more room to the horses and 
depending if she's hauling some big ones or not too. So we'll, we'll go around through the back and go into the stall area. Um, but right here, the plexiglass, these all come out. So you see this little notch right here? That's how you're gonna be able to take the plexiglass out. So you just take it out one by one. Um, a lot easier if you have someone from the inside push it over and then you're able to grab it a little easier just to get that first one done. Um, but take it out row by row, one row at a time, tape it together right where you took it from. It's just gonna make your life easier. You got two ties down below, and then you're sitting on two 7,000 pound Dexter torsion axles, your 16 inch wheels, and then your nitrogen filled tires. So this little green tab right here, this means the tires are nitrogen filled. The nitrogen is just gonna let you run cooler. It's gonna keep your PSI steadier. And then the nice thing as well is if you can't find any nitrogen around to fill back up, if you got a low tire or something, you can fill it with normal air and it's not gonna hurt the tire or the trailer. So coming around here onto the back of the trailer, we've got the full swing gate with the slider. When we're done looking back in the back here, um, I'll shut that gate and open the slider so you can see what it looks like. We've got an LED light up above. And then I don't know if you guys can see this, but we actually got a camera system installed on this trailer. We did that here in-house. Um, we've got three of them installed in this trailer. And once we're done with the trailer, I'm gonna show you guys the monitor that's sitting in the chick, in the, in, in the pickup in front of us. Um, but it's super nice to have that camera system is just gonna help out big time. And then as you guys can see, we did worm flooring, customized worm flooring in this trailer. We did the midnight bluish color turned out really good. The Smurfs loved it. So that worm flooring is going to be a completely waterproof impenetrable layer that they put on the floor of the aluminum on the trailer. Um, so and then they have the rubber composite over top. So if you're done, you're going somewhere, you're hauling, you don't necessarily need to have shavings. That's kind of a personal preference. But um, if you don't have shavings, scoop out, scoop out your solids. Tip that nose up just a little bit, spray it down with a hose, and where it comes out is where the liquid's going to come out. There's no draining through or anything. Uh, it's just going to completely prevent your floor from having any kind of urine sitting on it and eating away at it down the line. So really, really nice to have, and it adds a little bit of cushion. So when the horses are riding on it or any kind of animals riding on it, it does have a little bit of cushion to it too because um, it's a rubber, rubber composite material. So in here, you've got your center gate. Um, we upgraded and added padding to both sides of the center gate just to make it a little more horse friendly because we all know how horses can be. Um, sometimes they can be a danger to themselves. But this gate opens up too and then comes over here. And I don't know if you can see this little peg on the floor right here, but that is actually gonna allow that gate to sit on that. So when you're hauling down the road with the gate open, it's not gonna be bouncing back and forth and being all annoying, um, so it makes it sturdy. And then up here, it's gonna latch into place. So if you need to haul it open, you're hauling a couple mares and foals and you don't wanna cut them off from each other, you can. So we've got four roof ends going through the trailer. You push it forward, they're gonna suck air in. You push it backward, you're gonna suck air out, get that airflow going through for you. Uh, we've got two lights in here, two bright LED lights. And then up in the corner up there, we've got one more camera. And then we have another camera situated back here in this corner as well. So we are able to see both stalls of the trailer and behind us, backup camera, whatever you want to call it. Got a tie rail that goes the length of just this side right here, so it goes all the way down. Um, this customer, she, she is more concerned about having the horses be loose and be free and being able to move around how they feel comfortable while, sh while going somewhere. Um, so that's kind of how we customize this build for her, customize this trailer, and I love the way it turned out. So right here is going to be your light switches for your interior and exterior lights. Um, the tack room's got its own individual light switch, but there's these four back here. so one on each side of the trailer, and then your interior lights as well. And then I'm gonna shut this gate real quick. Show you this. So we do have the slider on this gate. 
case you're hauling some cattle. Um, you can load them up in here. But the main reason we did the slider on this gate is so the customer could check on the horse while going down the road without having to open the entire gate. So it's actually a really neat little idea, but that slides super nice, super easy, goes in and out. Um, it's just a nice trailer to have. I like this trailer a lot. It turned out really well. But coming around here to the head side of the trailer, you got your plexiglass slats, a couple ties, LED light up above the door and then your escape door right here. So with having this escape door and that slider on the back, if you're going on a long haul, you're able to check both horses without having to go in to the trailer, into the trailer. It just makes it safer for everyone all around. So this trailer is sitting eight foot wide, seven four tall. We're sitting 24 feet on the floor. Um, so I'm going to come up here real quick. We're going to look in this truck and I want to show you the camera system and how it sits there. So if you want to look in there, I've got it set up. So it's pretty neat because it, that camera system, it comes with that, with that holder that you can put in your cup holder and that camera system is completely wireless. So all it is is plugged into the cigarette lighter right now for power to power that monitor but it goes through all the different cameras. And then, so you can see right here, if you click this little button, camera one. So that's in the, um, the front of the trailer. Camera two, that's the back of the trailer. And then camera three is gonna be your backup camera to see behind you. So, and you can add a fourth camera onto this one and then you can add it on and have it just showing all three cameras. So it's a really neat little system. Um, they're super easy to put on. We usually carry them here in stock, but make sure you call ahead and ask if we've got them. If you're looking for one, we can get them, get you a quote on getting one installed. And then coming over here, so this trailer, I'll give you a stock number real quick, but it's a 2022 Cimarron Lone Star Stock Combo. It's a customized trailer for her customer. She's coming to pick it up this afternoon. I'm really excited for her. But we've got stock number 5N210137. And it's 5N210137. If you're looking for a trailer like this one or looking to get one built that's like it or just looking to get one built in general, I can definitely help you out. Um, if you go to our website and you see, I know we've got a lot of inventory on order. We don't have much in stock, but it's trickling in slowly. So if you see anything that catches your eye, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. You can call or text my cell phone at 970-218-5996. You can call my desk phone at 303-684-3451. Or you can even shoot me an email at morgan, M-O-R-G-A-N, dot noll, K-N-O-L-L, at transwest.com. I look forward to hearing from you and look forward to doing business and I hope you have a great day.